Hello, I'm your director, Maeve Johnston, and I'm here to tell you a bit about what it means to be the director. So, what do you do? You direct the show. There are a lot of elements to directing the show. First, you get to choose a theme and make a bare bones plot that you'll come up with from whatever show you've chosen. I got to choose the Emperor's New Groove this year and turned it into the Engineer's New Groove. Once you have your theme and your basic plot, then you get to uh, run the plot committee where um, you get some other members of musical to come together along with your exec and make a make a, a plot outline for what you want the, the show to look like. You get to really flesh out some of your ideas. A lot of your ideas end up changing um, and you get a good idea of what the show is going to look like. Then you will be um, helping your, your writing crew coordinator to pick your um, your writing crew and once you've done that they get the plot uh that you've come up with and they run with it uh you do get to help out with that you're hopefully checking in with the writing crew coordinator lots um but yeah so that's the plot um at the same time you'll be hosting auditions for cast um and so that entails making sure all the auditions are ready, all the sign-ups and stuff, and then running all the auditions and choosing your cast members. So then first semester, you're in charge of running the uh, cast rehearsals. And at, by the end of first semester, you'll be casting people. Um, and then once writing crew is done with the, the script and uh, the lyrics are all ready from cast and whoever else has decided to join, um, you get to edit it. That's so that's a bunch of time in December slash January where you and the help of your lovely exec will be editing the script and lyrics. So then second semester, you've got script, lyrics, uh, hopefully some the the band. You want to make sure that everyone has come up with all the parts that they need so that you've got the, the arrangements all done. Um, and then you get to run the cast rehearsals here. At this point, you have to also block the scenes um, so that you can be telling your cast what they're going to be doing. And you've got some lovely choreographers who will be choreographing the dances. Often as director, you get to help with the dances or make sure that your cast is learning them well um, and that all of that is going smoothly. So you're basically overseeing the creative elements of the show. Um, a, a, you get a lot of help for sure, but you want to make sure that everything comes together um, creatively the way that uh, works best and and how you see it going. <laughs> As the director, it's kind of all in your vision um, with a lot of help from other people. So you'll also be in charge of uh, deciding the lighting if you are in the theater. Of course, this year we were not. Um, and you'll be running theater week. Um, if there is not a theater week, then you get to make sure that you work with your production manager to make sure that the whole show gets filmed um, and that all of the vocals are recorded. And you want to, uh, although it's the, the band directors will be running the recordings for the band, but you want to make sure those get done too and working with the crew to make sure that all the props get made and that they know what kind of props you want and um, what they should look like. So yeah, that's most of it. I probably missed a few things, but that's the general idea. Um, basically, you're coming up with and overseeing most of the creative elements of the show and then ensuring that they are it implemented well throughout all the sections with the help of your amazing exec members. Um, the director job is a big job. It's wonderful. It is also a lot of work and a big time commitment. So don't take that lightly. Um, I don't mean that you shouldn't go for it, but I just mean if you are going to go for it, know that it's a lot of work. And it is wonderful and amazing, but it's not something that you can just uh, decide you don't want to do partway through. In order to go for it, uh, you only need one year on cast. You can apply without having been assistant director, but assistant director definitely helps you with it. Um, and we always take that into account during selections. So yeah, that's basically the director's role. <laughs>
What's up? <laughs> I'm Veronica, and I'll be talking a bit more about what the producer role involves. There we go. Uh, so what does the producer do? So as the producer, your, your main job is to sort of help manage a lot of the behind the scenes elements that are involved in the show with making musical musical and also being able to put on some sort of show in the end. Um, so I've kind of written out here some like the main responsibilities that come along with the role. There are kind of like smaller things here and there that are added in, but this is kind of the gist of it. Um, so first thing there, communicating with exec and all the sections. So uh, organizing the exec meetings and then sort of sending out, you know, announcements to all of musical. If there's musical wide information or news that needs to be shared, uh, you're there to sort of coordinate activities within the exec and of course all of musical. Um, so that's delegating tasks, and this one's sort of like if needed, um, making sure that all the sections are working within a common schedule, so the activities that people are doing in the different sections all line up with each other. Um, you act as the liaison with the MES, so you're going to be doing things like space allocation requests and funding requests um, and presenting at SAGAM if that's something that they ask you to do. Um, you're basically the MES's main point of contact. So if there's if they're ever asking for anything from the clubs, that falls under your belt. Um, finances is a big one. You manage all of that. Um, so you know that's securing funding and sponsorship, uh, creating the budget, managing the budget, doing membership fee collection, uh, reimbursing people within the musical, um, and then of course managing the bank account, all of that fun stuff. Uh, advertising is another one. So. There are advertising managers, which is a secondary exec position that's recruited a little bit later, um, but they fall kind of like under the producer. And, and so, you know, that's just advertising things like, you know, recruitment, like during Welcome Week and during September, um, and then as well as advertising for the show itself later on. Uh, you do a lot of space and equipment bookings. So if this was like a normal year, you would be you know, booking the theater that we use, booking rehearsal spaces, and then helping facilitate equipment bookings for band and production, if that's something that they need, they need help with. Um, you know, you do fun things like ordering shirts, uh, like making and ordering the programs, uh, prepping grad gifts, all that, all that fun stuff. And you do a lot of like the behind the scenes shenanigans leading up to and during theater week. There wasn't as much of that this year, but normally that would entail things like ticket sales and like getting buses that uh, will take people from, you know, campus to the theater. Um, what else is there? Like order, uh, not ordering, ordering food, right? For theater week, um, booking restaurants for the socials that take place during theater week, like chaotic, chaotic stuff. Um, and then of course there's uh, the, kind of like the first thing you do as producer is you run the selections committee for your exec team. So you put together a team of people, who will be interviewing all of the people, all of the candidates for the different exec positions. Um, and you're kind of there running that whole show. Uh, commitment. So there's only like two like like rules, I guess, as far as commitment goes. And the first two is like, you know, being available for weekly meetings in first semester and then being able to attend all of the days of theater week, if that's something that happens um, next year. Uh, and But as far as like what the workload is like, you could probably expect somewhere between two to six hours of work per week, sometimes more if there are like any events happening um, that obviously take up more time. Uh, but there are like busier seasons, which is why I put between two and six, like September is really busy because you're dealing with all of like the info session stuff and like a lot of the plot stuff. Uh, December can be busy because that's when script and uh, script editing happens. And February and March are really busy because obviously that's normally the timeline where we're ramping up to actually do the show. And then show week and even the week before show week is just like a mess because ticket sales is like a <laughs> like a 24-7 sort of monitoring uh, uh, activity. Um, as for the requirements for the role, uh, you automatically assume the position of producer after finishing up as assistant producer. So whatever the requirements for assistant producer are is kind of like what you need to be the producer. Um, and just some good things to have uh, to keep in mind that aren't necessary, though, is like if you have like leadership experience or experience with like finances, event planning, that's all good stuff to have. Um, you know, you want to be someone who's organized and good with time management and you better have a passion for spreadsheets because you're going to be using a lot of those to keep track of everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hi, I didn't see you there.
My name is Zach, and I'm the assistant director from this year. And so I'm here to talk about, about the assistant director position and what the responsibilities and what the requirements are to actually try out and try to become the assistant director for next year's musical. So first off, let's talk about what you actually do as the assistant director. Your main goal as the assistant director is to assist the director with all of their responsibilities. This can include everything from assist with the running of rehearsals, helping block certain scenes, help running the plot committee, communicating with the other sections, help run, like running socials, organizing events, and pretty much you do anything that the director wants. You are their lifeline, their right-hand man, and the person that they go to with the assistance with anything along those lines. Basically, the biggest thing with this role is you're learning to hopefully become the director the year after. That's the biggest deal, is helping the director out in learning as much as you can about the musical and how being a director works up. So what do you need to actually be the assistant director? So first off, one of the requirements is you need to have a year's experience on cast. Secondly, you got to have two years left to your degree. This is because you're not going to be necessarily the director after your assistant director, but there's a pretty high chance that you will. So basically, in summary, all you really need Year on cast, two years left in your degree, and boom, you can try out for assistant director. Thanks for listening. Okay. Okay, my name is Jill, and I'm going to talk about my experience being the assistant producer this year. So, what does the assistant producer do? Uh, you're pretty much assisting the producer in all the responsibilities they may have. This includes the financial and logistical aspects of the show, which includes stuff like finances and budget, um, keeping the website up to date, and any musical bookings that may need to be done. Um, you will also be there when the producer reaches out to you for input and advice, and you will be there for that as well. And the most important part is, of course, to gain experience with the show and the duties of the producer because you'll be taking on that role the following year. Some requirements include at least one year of experience on musical in any section, at least two years left on your degree, and of course, as I've mentioned, the responsibility of taking on the producer role the following year. So the assistant producer is actually the only exec role that automatically gets moved on to producer the following year, and this is when you will assemble the selection committee who will interview and choose the rest of the exec for the year. So if any of these things appeal to you, then I really encourage you to apply for assistant producer. Hi, I'm Michael Steyer, and I'm this year's production manager. So in terms of what the production manager does, in first term, there's general exec duties, which include plot group, editing, and song selection. You also assist, or sorry, you select an assistant production manager who will assist you in your role throughout the, the year. Um, <clears throat> and one of the main responsibilities for the production manager in first term is to start arranging the rentals for the equipment for theater week. Uh, this can run into second semester, but it's a good idea to get started in first. Um, also, another responsibility is to contact companies about sponsorships for rentals. So anything that you're renting from a company, trying to see if they're willing to sponsor us would be a great thing to have. Um, that saves us a lot of budget. In second semester, um, your responsibilities include teaching the production crew members uh, how to um, operate the equipment they're going to be using and how to work in a theater environment and all those things. Um, you're also responsible for creating a production manual, which is basically including all your audio patch um, and just generally any other information like stage setup for the risers for band and that kind of thing, which you'll have to talk to the uh, band leads about and the director and producer to try to figure out a negotiation between them uh, in terms of how much stage space band will take. Um, and you're also responsible for delegating theater roles to production team members. So in terms of what the production manager does during theater week, <clears throat> you oversee the production aspects of the show, uh, consult with band leads on the mix of the band, you're responsible for overseeing the production team to do lighting, audio, and cameras, uh, as well as a wireless tech, and you coordinate with the editors uh, to edit the video and audio from the show once the theater week is over. In terms of responsibilities, or sorry, requirements for this position, it's mandatory to have one year of experience on theater or production crew. Um, and a nice to have would be um, experience being the assistant production manager or having previous stage experience. 
uh, whether it be stage management or just in general stage experience. Um, general leadership and organizational experience because that's one of the main things you're doing is organizing everything and leading a team. Um, and a passion for production. So a passion for uh, putting on a show, whether it be lighting, whether it be audio, whether it be video aspects, um, and really helping to glue together uh, everything that cast and band is doing to make it a show that's cohesive. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to send me a message. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Alexi. I'm the crew leader for this year as well as the crew leader for last year as well. So I'm going to talk a bit about my responsibilities as a crew leader in case you want to get involved. So first of all, what do I do? So first semester, a large part of the role is doing general executive duties. So things like plot group, song editing, uh, script editing, as well as song selection, all really fun things to do. You also plan crew socials. So it could be crew and writing crew, crew alone, other sections of musical as well, just to kind of allow everyone to get to know each other, build up that camaraderie. Um, this year it would be virtual. Once it's safe to do so, it could be in person. And you also consult on writing crew with writing crew on props. So again, making sure all the props that are mentioned or that writing crew wants to put in the musical actually are feasible and can be made. And finally, you consult with the director on set design. So again, they show you the set design and you essentially critique them, <laughs> say if the scene transition would be possible, if there's too many props, if there's not enough, things like that. So second semester is really where your work starts. So first of all, you have to book storage space. We usually use the storage room in ITB to store all of the props. You then have to source supplies. So for example, you coordinate dumpster diving on the first meeting of the semester. You also head down to Dollarama to get paint, duct tape, eventually the other supplies that we need to build props and then ultimately get reimbursed for buying them. And again, a huge part of your role is running the actual crew meetings. So what this looks like is you'll have a props list, you'll assign props to people, and you essentially just oversee whether, you know, the size, shape, design um, of the props is in alignment to what we want for the musical. Um, and then finally, very exciting, you get to pick the assistant crew leaders as well as the theater crew, which is the group of people who go to the theater and help with scene transitions during the show. So in theater week, you take on kind of a stage manager role, just a little bit. Um, and that's kind of the biggest part of your role in theater week. So first and foremost, you oversee the two assistant crew leaders. So each assistant crew leader has a side of the stage left and right that they oversee um, and coordinate scene transitions for. So you're just there to assist them with anything they need, make sure they're good. Uh, you also consult with the director on scene setup. So you do things like blocking, um, and again, just discuss, you know, where to put the props, certain configurations, whether there's enough people to move the props on either side of the stage. And like I said, during the show, show time, you read through the script and you coordinate the scene transitions. So you coordinate things like blackouts, allow people to move props, whether the curtain's opening and closing, you call out things like lighting cues, sound cues, so for the particular line, that triggers that, you have to listen out for that, as well as coordinating quick changes that cast needs. And a bonus is if you're crew leader in a virtual year like this one, you have to coordinate prop pickup and drop off as well. So if this interests you, great. Um, we're probably wondering what the requirements are. So the only mandatory requirement of um, being a crew leader is one year experience on theater crew specifically. So again, you had to have had that experience of going to the theater, moving around the props, <laughs> helping with scene transitions. Um, but there's some extra <laughs> requirements that could help. They're very much not mandatory. But first thing is assistant crew leader experience. So I was assistant crew leader the year before I became crew leader. I think it just gave a really great insight as to what your role during the show is going to look like. Production crew experience also does help. So in first year, I was in production crew because you have to work quite closely with the production manager. So it's good to know the needs that they have so you guys can have a good working relationship. It also does help to have previous stage management experience, whether that be from high school or your extracurriculars. I didn't have this when I started out, so it's very much not required. General leadership experience, always nice to have, and just a passion for cardboard and prop making, just passion for the role. But all in all, that's really all that's needed in Crew Leader. If this interests you, please apply. 
Hey everyone, Kevin here. Today, Megan and I are going to tell you everything you need to know about being band director. So, first, what do the band directors do? First things first, we run all the band tryouts at the start of the fall term. After we've done this and got the band together, we go through the process of selecting and vetting all the songs that the uh, cast members have submitted to exec. And then following this, we facilitate the instrument rentals and um, make sure everybody who needs an instrument to audition has one. Um, after, we run all the arranging sessions uh, for the songs that we've chose, and uh, we run weekly arranging sessions so you can meet up with your partner or your group that you're arranging with, and you guys can figure out all the logistics of arranging your songs. Uh, after this, um, we run the weekly rehearsals of the songs that we arranged in the fall throughout the winter term, and uh, we start to practice them so that we can be ready for show week. Also, uh, during the second semester, we coordinate with all the other musical sections like cast, uh, sound and lights, production, uh, to make sure that uh, everything can run smoothly once we hit show week. Uh, lastly, we also run all the band social events uh, so we can get together and have a good time outside of band rehearsals. Okay, so in terms of show week, there are a couple extra responsibilities. Um, one of the main ones is leading run-throughs with band and obviously cast during theater week, uh, especially as we get closer to our performance dates. Um, and it also involves working with our sound production team for doing sound checks for all the instruments in band. Um, and of course, conducting band through any songs in the show where necessary, where they're a little bit trickier. Um, and of course, on top of all this comes assisting other sections or exec members where needed because the week is super, super busy and we want everything to be running as efficiently as possible. In terms of requirements for the position, um, you do need to have at least one year of experience on musical band. Um, and of course, that means having at least one year left of your degree. And bottom line, you gotta love music. Um, and so if these responsibilities seem like they fit you um, and you're interested, then band director is definitely the role for you. Oh my God, this is so stressful. <laughs> How do I, okay, present. I'm such a boomer, I'm sorry. Alrighty, I don't know why my screen's so big, but we'll all just have to deal with it. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm the writing crew coordinator uh, this past, I, well, I've been, this is going so well so far. <laughs> I've been the writing crew coordinator, coordinator this past year. It was so much fun. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> so it's not, it's a pretty chill time being the writing crew coordinator. Uh, the normal weekly commitment is two to three and a half hours, depending on um, how how much script you have to write. We we did have a shorter script this year, so that might have led to our shorter times. Like I remember in the year previous, our our, our meetings were about four hours a week, but uh, they're quite fun. So it's it's okay if they're a bit longer. And then uh, there's also might be a short meeting with the director each week just to keep on track. Um, sometimes they pop into the main writing crew meeting where so that you don't have to meet afterwards. And then some extra stuff that we do is there's plot group, which is where we uh, kind of take the director's theme and then we make it real <laughs> and we give it a skeleton. And then that's what we work off of for a writing crew. Uh, and then, so that's two full days. So it is a commitment and usually attendance is mandatory, but it isn't like super duper mandatory, you know? <laughs> it, it would be very good for you to be there. And then there's recruitment, which is September to October, where you'll send out applications and hope people apply and then resend them out if people don't apply. And then <laughs> you read them and they're quite fun. And then you get to decide who's on writing crew. And then there's script editing, where uh, this happens after the script has been written. And it's about seven days of two-hour meetings where you go through each scene one by one and you edit it to make sure that the writing crew didn't go too off base, <laughs> too off message, you know, gotta stay brand friendly. Alrighty, and then here are some requirements. There's only one. You just need to be on the writing crew for one year and be cool. So please, please do that. Thank you. Uh, I, I look forward to seeing who applies. Well, I guess I won't because I'm not on the selection committee, but I, I wish you luck in your endeavors, Gladiator. Alrighty, <laughs> I should end this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>